Damn. Hello everyone, Mike from LA1 here. So you guys want to see me wearing the Batista shirt? There you guys go. And today it is time for a very special edition of the this, of a ride review. Yeah, this is actually an actual ride I get to review here. If you guys can't see it, well, you guys thinking I'm running the Tower of Terror? Nope. Although that is in the running for a possible future review. I mean, I've been reviewing them almost enough 100 reviews, so. So, the, wait, waiting this long is delaying the inevitable. The right group needs to happen. And, well, what the? Wow, all three of them are actually running <laughs> at the same time. Oh, I was hoping it would go three, two, one. Oh, how is that? Would be really funny if they went that way, that way, that way. But nope, that doesn't seem to be exactly be the case. And also, my camera is plugged in, so so here we go. Time to get on the trolley. If I actually miss this, not exactly a screw job, but it's more my fault. And this will be yet another vlog. So, let's go, shall we? That's where I hit the road. Here, so this is the this is the full edition. Alex, you want to drive? Will, do you want to conduct? I'm going to see one of them because I've been on the triad trip. Yeah. Here you go, Matt. I don't want to get wet again. I do. Woo! Thank you. Just a heads up guys, there is no eating on the trolley, so make sure it's all put away. I don't know. Okay. Was it serious? I was serious. No, it's serious. No food or drink is usually allowed on the trolley. It has to be put away, guys. I wish I would use the sound effect, but it may get flagged. Thank you. 
Two spaces. As a quick heads up, guys, we are waiting for our Newsboys show because they're performing right now in Carthay Circle. So it's going to be about 10, 15 minutes before we depart. No problem. Just a warning in case you guys have anywhere important to be. We can get out of here. And the door is... While we wait, guys, we can play a game if you want. If you're open to challenge. Anyone? What game do you want to play? What game? Chips? Well, Disney trivia. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. All right. Name 10 Disney movies that have just one word in the title, and none of them, they are animated Disney movies, and none of them can be Pixar. <laughs> That's not hard. Cinderella, easy. Aladdin. Aladdin, yes. Pinocchio, Bambi, that's four. Fantasia, yes. A lot of people don't get Fantasia. They always forget about it. Congratulations. That's five. There's no movie card. That's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, so. Pocahontas. Yes, Pocahontas, six. I know that one. Turkey. Um, ten Disney movies that have one word in the title, and they have to be animated and can't be Pixar. Greatest Pixar, Bambi, seven. Very Bambi. Dumbo? Dumbo. All the classics, Dumbo. not old, classics. Dumbo. The best Dumbo. ones. Dumbo, yes, eight. Dumbo. What was the one out there? Yeah, Dumbo. Dumbo? Dumbo. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> if someone said Goofy, yeah, there should be an award for a stupid answer. <laughs> That makes much sense to saying Mars needs you know Mars. No, I don't. I, because he just stole mine. He's just he stole my answer of Dumbo. Uh, Ariel, that's the Little Mermaid, so that doesn't count, guys. Um, uh, let's see. One of them's very recent. Tangles and Frozen. There's ten. Tangles and Frozen. No, actually, I never thought of that. Frozen. Of course. Never thought of that. What is that? So, all right, another question. Let's see. Well, it's not really a question, but I got one. It's kind of simple. For those of you who have been coming here for years, you'll probably know this instantly. The front area of our park, which is called Buena Vista Street, before all the construction and the redesign, it was called something else. Does anyone know what that area of the park is called? I thought it didn't have two tanks. <laughs> If it's sun, uh, close. It had to do with the sun. Cause yeah, because it's been it's been, it's been two it's been it's been two years. I don't remember. Oh, thank goodness. Give up, guys. I know it's something with sun, but... Sunshine Plaza. Oh, now I remember. Giant sun sculpture. That used to be a waterfall, down. right? They should have kept that. But I understand why they got rid of it. That really question is a little fun um, <laughs> trivia fact. Who's seen Frozen? A lot of people. Okay. In Frozen, there are two things called... There are two Easter eggs hidden in Frozen. Does anyone know what an Easter egg is? Like in a movie or a video game? It's like something alluding to another, something that already exists. And like the same, like it, uh, I was saying, in the Pixar movies, how there's always like something, like a Toy Story doll or the ball or the little... Oh, like the, like the, the, the movies in the credits of Cars. Yeah. Like um, Toy... Well, there were two of them. 
One for Wreck-It Ralph and one for Tank. Anyone would spot them. You did? What was it? <laughs> yes, the candies. When during Anna's song for the first time in forever, the part with chocolate, which wants to stuff chocolate in her face. The chocolate! are chocolates from Sugar Rush. From Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, as for the, the tangled one, it's a little bit more obvious. During during the same song, they're both the same song. When the doors open and all the delegates from the other countries enter the palace, you can see the backside of Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You know it. Oh wait, that's a wrong rider. Oops. Wrong rider. Little trivia right there. Well, we can. We got some more time. <laughs> I use all my good stuff. Oh, I think I got some other ones. Yeah, I got one. Okay. We have a total of 13 Disney princesses. Three of these princesses. Three? No, four. Four. Sorry, my bad. Viridian Slip. You try handling this. I got different trivia, not that one. Oh. <laughs> Three flip. Well, then why don't you do your trivia, Matt? Okay. Well, since we are on board a trolley, can anybody describe the numbers and what their purpose is for our part? We have trolley 717 and 623. They all mean something. Well, that's our show. Thank you for... Seven stands for a date, July 17th. Oh, oh my! What's that gonna be? July 17th, 1955, the opening of Disneyland Resort. Uh, 623, 6 for the 600 series models. Yeah, trivia. Based after, the 63 is 1923 when Walt arrived in California. The 623 well, is a tough one, but the 717 is pretty obvious. It's pretty much obvious. It's pretty much obvious. It's pretty obvious. That's good. Now, the thing is, we're over the wing right now while we're. We can show an episode of the. We can show Frozen right now while we're waiting for. We have room actually. Room for three. Wait! April Fools! Except this is not April at all. Yeah. That was a, yeah, that was a bit of an April Fools or an early April Fools joke. We're good. Welcome aboard the red car trolley. Bit of an April For your safety, though. please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. And watch your children. Para su seguridad, por favor permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y pies. And we are out of here. Y cuiden sus niños. Gracias. Are you cuidating me? Are you cuidating me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the red car trolley. My name is Alex and I'll be your conductor. Your motorman up front is Matt. And we provide service from Buena Vista, from Hollywood Tower Hotel to Buena Vista Street. On our way, we'll be pointing out numerous sights along our route. Such on the right hand side is the Hollywood Tower Hotel, home to the Twilight Zone's Tower of Terror. And trust me guys, the only thing terrifying about that ride is the 45 minute wait. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Thank you, I'll be here all night. On the right hand side is the Hyperion Wait. Theater. Named for Hyperion Avenue where Walt Disney Studios could first be found when they arrived in California. Although in 1940 they moved to their current location in Burbank. The theater is modeled after the Los Angeles Theater and it's home to our Latin the Musical Spectacular which unfortunately right now is undergoing some renovations. And they won't be back till the end of the month. But there's a lot of other cool things here in Hollywood Land. Straight ahead is the entrance to the Backlot Studios, home to attractions like Monsters, Inc., Mike and Sully to the Rescue, Muppets 3D Vision, and tonight it will be playing host to our Mad Tea Party, where characters from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland will come to life on stage. 
such as the Mad Hatter, Alice herself, and the White Rabbit DJ. Yeah. Right now, guys, we're entering the bypass. We're going to stop and hold right here for just a few minutes until our sister trolley passes us. They're holding our Newsboys show along with Mickey. So we get a quick shot of Mickey as he passes us. Well, that's our show. Thank you for... Oh, don't run over the Hatter hosts. Don't run them over. If you run them over, it, the party is pretty much canceled. Hello. On the left hand side, guys, is the animation building, Hello. which is home to attractions like Animation Academy and Turtle Talk with Crush, where you can learn to draw some of your favorite Disney characters and speak to our favorite sea turtle, Crush, from Finding Nemo. Hopefully in Finding Dory, too, most likely. That's true, Finding Dory, which was pushed back to 2016, I think. I was like, what the heck's taking it so long? <laughs> Wait, I hear him. We can show that was over there. We can show it. Here they come. 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 And here come the cr here come the news boys. Oh, and hold on, I'm probably gonna unplug this very quickly so we can get a the best view of the news boys possible. Best view of the news boys is possible. Oh, and there she is right now, our sister trolley, straight ahead. And she's coming right at us at a whopping speed of four miles per hour. She's going to hit us. And unfortunately, and luckily she won't. We're right now in the bypass. This is the only place that our two trolleys can pass each other safely. So she's going to go right beside us. Golden Gate, California, here we come. California, here we come. Right back where we started from. Our flowers, our flowers bloom in the spring. I love those very things. The sun kiss miss and don't be late. That's why, why we can hardly, hardly wait. Open up that golden gate in California. Here we come. Here I come. I do not know the music, no copyright is in attendance. That's our show. Thank you very much, everybody. All right, let's. And we're continuing on to Buena Vista Street. Coming up on our right hand side, if you are a fan of award shows and hot dogs, try Award Wieners, the best hot dogs in the resort. And right across from down the left hand side is the Disney Theater, home to Disney Junior, live on stage, which I believe is getting ready for their final show of the, of the day. Um, unfortunately, no, the corn dogs are at Corn Dog Castle over in Paradise Pier. Da da, da da ding. Bada ding. And we've just left Hollywood Land and we're entering the downtown district of Buena Vista Street. Buena Vista is Spanish for good view and there are numerous good views to be found here. On the left hand side is the Carthay Circle Theater. 
Modeled after the original theater where Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was first fa was first premiered. This one is a replica and that ah, sorry guys got all tongue tied. It contains our Carthay Circle restaurant and lounge. A replica of the of the original theater. Right now in Carthay Circle we Ah! I am so sorry guys. One mistake and it's all downhill. <laughs> We're in the center of the park. Carly Circle is considered the central hub of Disney's California Adventure. From here you can access Condor Flats, Bugs Land, Cars Land, and Paradise Pier. From Main C until the trolley comes to complete stop and the doors open. And there's no no one else left. Goes as well. Welcome aboard. And I feel so bad for you getting that tongue tie there. For your safety, please remain seated. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, Who's here? Over here. Oh, never mind. Hey, Calvin. How are you today? Pretty good. And we're continuing our way to Buena Vista Street. Coming up on our left-hand side is the entrance to Condor Flats, home to Soarin' Over California. And straight ahead is the Fiddler Pfeiffer and Press Gold Cafe, which was named after the Three Little Pigs. It also contains Disneyland Resort's very first Starbucks. We've now added two more to the parks. There's now one in the Market House on Main Street USA, and one soon to be added in Downtown Disney. On our right hand side is the storyteller statue of Walt Disney and his most famous creation, Mickey Mouse. The statue represents a young Walt when he first arrived in California with just the clothes on his back, $40 in his pocket, a suitcase, and a dream. A suitcase and a dream. We've just entered the neighborhood district of Buena Vista Street, which is home to some of our mom and pop shops like Elias and Company, named after Walt Disney's father, Elias Disney, Charlie Treats, Big Top Toys, and Los Feliz Five and Dime. We're passing under the Hyperion Bridge, folks, which means we're coming to the end of our journey. Please remain seated until the trolley comes to a complete stop. On behalf of the entire Red Car team, we thank you for joining us, and hope you have a magical day at the Disneyland Resort. And, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our little ride through. Thanks for coming And hopefully, there could be a fourth with the Disneyland Railroad at night. But chances are we're probably not going to get it. So I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you guys for the password of the day.